Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. Time to conquer a mental emergency. Are you ready for this? Revenge porn. It's becoming a common trend, taking nude or sexually explicit photos of yourself and then sharing them with your partner like this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. George, but, George. It's a very funny episode. But seriously, what happens when you break up and he or she seeks revenge and uploads those photos to a website for others to see. It happens. It does. This is being labelled as revenge porn. It's legal right now, except in New Jersey and California. It's on the verge of making it a crime Define as well. Define legal, meaning? Well, legal means that you you can actually post those photos without anyone coming out. And you own them. Yeah. They were sent to you. They're your photos. So with no reper repercussions well, or consequences. Right. One, let me share this story, then it'll make more sense. One victim is speaking out about it. We shared intimate photos back and forth, and right when we broke up, he changed my Facebook profile to a nude photo of me. Uh -huh. Six months later, he posted several of those photos up on a, a website, amihotornotnude.com, and then years later, he made my material go viral when he found out that I was dating somebody new. Yeah. The interesting thing about Yikes. this specific case is he also put out all of her contact information, Gosh, her name, her email oh address, goodness. and her work location. This raises so many questions, and of course, as you can imagine, my take is very, slightly different. She, you have to ask the question, well, is she a victim? She is because he put her name, her address, or her email, and her work location. However, notice what we're calling this revenge porn. It's a pornographic photo. There were photos of her actually engaging in self-stimulation that she shared with her boyfriend. I can't make you a victim of porn if you don't, if you don't give it. me the photos. Right. So mm, right. a victim to me is someone that is completely helpless. But you've given me something. Yeah, now, but can she I gave just it say to him to when they though? were dating? Yeah, and that's what's going to He's say. using it against her. I mean, that, I that, mean that's, that's a sign of this day and age. I mean, if you take this decades ago, maybe it was a videotape they could have made as a couple or a love letter she could have written to him. He's taking something personal. It doesn't make her it's, a bad person. You just need to be careful. Right. Well, yeah, obviously, can't. he's wrong. There's no question that he's wrong. <coughs> but I don't think it's safer to say I'm a complete victim because if you hadn't get, made those photos right. given to him, he couldn't have done that to you. That okay, way. but when you when you're in a relationship, you have what's called trust. And when you trust trust someone and they violate and betray that trust, then that's something totally different. So in yes. essence, she is a victim because she trusted him in their relationship. Right, yes, she's a victim because he did something that hurt her. But remember too, the level of victimization changes or depends or is variant on what so we're actually playing with. Advice, though, though, for sexual. Right. So here's the tip. First, you must assume that your photo will become public. Mm -hmm. Always. Even right. if the boyfriend didn't do it deliberately, his phone or computer can be hacked or stolen and okay. someone could have uploaded those photos. Beware if you're actually taking the photos, just trying to get the other person's approval. Oh, I want to please him. Finally, ask yourself this question. Can you trust yourself before you can trust. even trust him? Yep. Because he might do something to you and you might hurt him as well. I recommend okay. you just use Skype because once it happens, it's gone. There is no record. <laughs> there you go. Just saying. All right. 